Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where skincare is all about progression over perfection because perfection doesn't exist. Reviewing skincare products mean I never truly settle on a uh, skincare routine that I love. Like if I have a skincare routine I love, I'm like, right, on to the next thing, onto the next product. Cause you know, that's my job, otherwise I wouldn't have a job, you know? Um, but there are the products or types of products that I just keep buying cause I, absolutely love them or they do amazing things for my skin. So today I'm sharing the products that I cannot stop buying in hopes that it might inspire you to try some of these and they might work for your skin too. I'm gonna group some of these together because I have quite a few like to go through. Barrier repairing serums. I have no choice but to be obsessed with skin barrier repairing serums and I have to kind of repurchase them because I put my skin through so, so much. I'm guaranteed to damage my skin barrier sometimes. These are obviously serums that heal and protect our damaged skin barrier, feeding our skin essential ingredients that our skin needs. So we look for ingredients such as ceramides, fatty acids, peptides, along with calming ingredients like centella and allantoin and aloe. So I have two different types to you. The first one that I've emptied quite a few of is the Even Prime, um, what's it called? Barrier Serum. This is a super lightweight barrier repair serum with those ceramides, peptides. So helping to rebuild that skin barrier, protect the skin barrier, along with um, Centella and Artemisia. So amazing, cooling, calming, anti-inflammatory ingredients for that irritated skin that always comes along with a damaged skin barrier. This is perfect for layering up. When we think of of um, ceramides in skincare or like barrier repairing products, I feel a lot of us think they're like thick, heavy kind of ointments and healing um, creams, you know, really thick stuff. But this serum has the consistency of like a slightly thicker toner, but like a watery serum. On that note, we do have the slightly thicker avocado ceramide recovery serum from Glow Recipe. This has only been out for a few months and I've like, I'm on my third bottle, my fourth bottle already. I love this serum. It's just like a moisturizing, soothing and hydrating serum that I use all over my face, all over my neck. So I tend to use this one in the morning, this one in the evening. And whilst that is a little bit thicker, it's not as thick as a moisturizer. So it's still comfortable to use as a serum. Again, we have ceramides in here, some of the essential building blocks of our skin. We also have avocado butter um, to moisturize and soothe, which is great for those drier skin types, but definitely not too heavy if you have oily skin. Two pumps of this on my face, two on my neck in the evening, sorts me right out. I absolutely love this stuff. And we also have rice milk in there, actually. I'm looking at the ingredients. So we have rice milk in there, which is like soothing and hydrating. I love this. I do use both of these and I'm gonna continue to use both of these for a long time. By the way, this is limited edition packaging and that's why I stocked up on it because I like it so much. Um, I'm not sure if they do it anymore. Speaking of Glow Recipe, let's talk about the Glow Recipe Ultra Fine Watermelon Ultra Fine Glow. No, oh my God, oh my God. Speed on Glow Recipe, let's talk about the Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. I mentioned in a recent video that I had gone through nine of these in a month. And I had a few comments that are like, first of all, that's impossible. Second of all, that's very expensive. Yes, it would have been expensive, but I get gifted a lot of product from Glow Recipe themselves, um, but also um, other stockists of Glow Recipe. So I actually have one of these in, one or two of these in every room where I'm most active or where I am all the time. So here in my studio, over there by my vanity, I have some. In my uh, office, I have a couple. Um, I have some in my bathroom and I also have one at my bedside table in my bedroom. And I just spray these all the time, all the time. In the morning before I, um, when I wake up, then before I walk the dogs, when I come back from walking the dogs, as part of a hydrating step between each step of my skincare routine. But I also have this tendency to get very kind of like, um, what's the word? Um, I got a lot going on <laughs> in, in, in work and in life. So I, I tend to get quite, oh, what's the word? I struggle to function quite honestly and organize in my head. So I, I need to calm down sometimes. And for me, spraying this mist and just taking a minute to like um, relax my shoulders and my jaw and take a minute to kind of like regroup myself and try and try to focus on one task and kind of work out what I need to do. I do a, a, quite a few times a day. So I spray that as kind of like a, a quick relax, soothe, wake up a little bit 
concentrate kind of thing. So I go through them very, very quick. It's an expensive-ish habit to have, yes, um, but I am in the fortunate position where um, I get gifted this product over and over, but then I also just buy it over and over as well because I don't have to spend money on cosmetics other than other than this one mist. But yeah, it is $28. Um, if you use this normally, like a normal person, um, a couple times a day, it's going to last you longer than a month. It's just... It's just such a hydrating, revitalizing, yet super fine mist with watermelon, which yes, whilst it's cute and smells nice, watermelon also contains amino acids. So super moisturizing, we have hyaluronic acid for hydration as well, as well as rice germ oil. So again, moisturizing, but also a natural AHA. So it's not massively exfoliating, like you can use this every day without over exfoliating. But AHAs are also great for um, hydration as well. This just leaves you dewy and healthy looking. I do wish they came in larger bottles. I also wish that the packaging was easier to recycle because I would put all my toners in here if I could. I would take this top off and I would put every toner in here because the mist that this gives is just so nice and fresh. Oh, next up, I'm gonna group this together because you're probably bored to death of hearing about these, but Cosrx Propolis line and the Advanced Snail line. That's not the official names, it's like Full Fit and something, um, but I love pretty much everything from these two lines from Cosrx. As you can see, I have a lot of these and I stock up on a lot of like doubles and extras and stuff because I use these nonstop. These are products that I feel very, very safe with, my skin feels safe with. When my skin goes to shit, I immediately reach for Cosrx because I know my skin is gonna recover, my skin is gonna calm down, my skin is gonna go back to its natural healthy state. Or if I'm testing a new active and I want the rest of my routine to be gentle and kind to my skin, I will use all COSRX and then that one new active. Because I know my skin has no, zero negative reaction to these products. The Honey line is extremely calming and soothing and moisturizing. Propolis is also known for its antibacterial properties and anti-inflammatory properties. So it's great for people like myself with rosacea. This line is on the dewier side, but it's not sticky. Um, and it's more of a natural dewy glow. And the moisturizer is actually not at all. The moisturizer from this line is incredibly lightweight and sinks into the skin super quick, but it's also um, nourishing and thick enough to use as an evening moisturizer and wake up with nice hydrated moisturized feeding skin. The toner is a amazing. Um, what else? The Synergy pads are amazing as well, which I probably won't rebuy because they're essentially just cotton pads soaked in toner. But yes, I really like them. I always stock up in them just as a nice backup. The same with the Snail line. The Snail line is a little bit stickier. And if you do like dewy, dewy skin, this is probably the line to go for. Another hydrating, moisturizing line with the anti-aging properties as well as helping to repair and soothe your skin. So again, products that where my skin has gone to shit, I use these. The moisturizer is, I have to be honest, is a, a bit of a pain to use. I wish it came in a pump, but once you know how to use it and you use the correct amount and don't overuse it, it goes from being sticky and annoying to super dewy and moisturizing and repairing. The Snail Dual Radiance Essence is now a must for me. Yeah, it's just enough for me. This is a really random one, but this is one I don't talk about a lot and that's lip tints. I cannot stop buying lip tints. I like, I'm not doing it now, but I like to um, use a lip tint just on the inside of my lips to make them stand out a little bit more. Sometimes my lips can look very flat. Um, I kind of, I like to make them look like they've been bleeding, like I bit the inside of my lips and they're just bleeding a little bit. It's like a gradient lip, right? But so for those who don't know, I'm, I love K-pop, not just like, oh, I love Blackpink and BTS, of course I do, but I love K-pop, like it is my life. It's probably one of the only things that I am fanatical about and have been since 2009. I absolutely love it. I collect light sticks and skincare, more importantly, um, from K-pop idols um, that they promote, that they use. But one thing I use a lot of and been purchasing a lot of is skin tints because um, boy groups in particular actually endorse a lot of these lip tints. So this is one that I bought recently, a collection of them. And these are um, the Black Rouge Half and Half Water Tint. Black Rouge are probably my most re uh, repurchased brand. And this is a set with Cravity, um, a newish boy group, I think, um, with a couple members from a boy band called X1. If, if you know, you know. But yeah, I don't know why. I'm just sharing that one with you. I, I like the lip tint. I, I got like a hundred of the same colors and they're all over there, all just reds really. Um, but I like them. I just like a li little, little bit on the inside. Back onto skincare, the Inculus Salicylic Acid Cleanser um, was originally gifted to me like 
early last year and I've, it's just been a staple ever since. And I know in summer when my skin does get more congested and bumpier and breaks out a lot more, um, I will be using this more often than I do now in the winter. My skin is a little bit temperamental and it used to really, really be fine with those higher percentage BHA uh, toner exfoliants, exfoliating toners, but now it can be a little bit temperamental, especially my rosacea can kind of kick off a little bit. So I do like to use salicylic acid within things like moisturizers um, and in cleansers as well. So effective yet gentle ways to get an exfoliation. So with this cleanser, it obviously contains um, salicylic acid. So what I'll do is I'll massage that gently on the skin, take, you know, a minute to kind of massage it around, leave it on the skin for a little bit longer and then wash away, give time for the BHA to really work. And it does everything that a toner would do gently, not as quick, um, but I could use um, an exfoliating cleanser more often. So blackheads, enlarged pores, breakouts, bu uh, buff, rough, bumpy skin, enlarged looking pores. This has been amazing for all that. They did a limited edition jumbo size that I wish they would carry on doing, maybe even bigger in a pump. Maybe just like, like this, so I can just like, you know, um, but bigger. And that's the great thing about it as well, is I can leave it on my face for a little bit to allow the actives to really, really work without it drying out my skin. So it rinses away so nice. It doesn't, it doesn't leave you like dew and moisturized, but it doesn't leave you tight. Like your skin thirsty for hydration and moisture. Um, I just love it. It's just everywhere. I got bottles of it lying around everywhere as well. I absolutely love it. So of course, all the products I talked about today will be in the description box down below. You can check out some more product reviews here and some reaction videos here. And I will see you over there.